Welcome back everyone. So I've been making a lot of these videos throughout my time and, and I can definitely tell you that connecting a set of headphones, any headphones to an Xbox or PlayStation or whatever is not an easy process, but there are ways to go ahead and actually get it done. Now it's not quite what everyone or what you might be hoping, especially not what I'm hoping. There is a little bit of a process, but at the end of the day, it's still another way on actually how to, you know, connect a set of Bluetooth headphones to your console, specifically your Xbox One in this case, without having to go ahead and buy a Bluetooth dongle or whatever. Now, that is still a viable option and that's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'll find one link and I bought one before and I'll go ahead and leave the one that I bought linked down below. You can get it from there and help support this channel at the same time. But I just bought these Sony headphones and I wanted to go ahead and use them and it works, it's perfectly fine. But again, the process is pretty much like this. Now break it down. We are going to be using some sort of device as a middleman to send the audio from our Xbox to that device, then that device will send it basically to our headphones. And the device that I'm talking about can be an iPhone, an Android, an iPad, really any Android tablet, whatever the case is, even some, you know, Macs and Chromebooks and stuff, you can, you know, download some iPhone and iPad apps on those specific and even Android apps on those type of machines too. So you can use that as a middleman as well. And we're going to be basically streaming our Xbox to this device. And then we're going to be listening to that device from our headphones. Phones. So I'll go ahead and break down exactly how to do this. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your Xbox One. You want to go ahead and open up the settings and you want to go to your remote connection settings. So you want to follow exactly what I'm doing on the display right now. And you want to make sure that the remote play connection options are enabled and toggled on on your device. So that's a very, very important and it's very easy. Once you're done with that, we don't even have to mess with the Xbox anymore. Everything else is now set on our device. So what we wanna do is we wanna locate an Android, an iPhone, you can use your personal phone, a tablet, whatever the case is, as long as you can use Android or iPhone apps on it, then you're gonna be perfectly set. So you wanna go ahead and make your way over to your store, your app store basically. So you wanna to go to the Google Play Store or your you know Apple App Store, and you want to download the Xbox app. Now, Microsoft pushed out an update, I think a couple months ago, that actually allowed us to stream our Xbox to our device and this is freaking amazing i love this so much and sony's have had this for a little while so i'm glad that we have this capability now so at this point all you want to do is go ahead and you know make sure you have that app downloaded you want to go ahead and open up the xbox app now this is where the process seems to lose a couple of people you want to basically log in with the same credentials as your current xbox so your xbox one you want to make sure that you go you know the gamer tag and the email you want to make sure you log in with the same exact email on the you know phone as well and once you go ahead and log in, you'll basically be presented with this specific splash screen. It does change frequently, so it may change a little bit for you, but the concept is still the same. You're still going to have the same toggles and everything for the time being. Now, this is very important. You want to be sure that you're at the same location as your Xbox right now, and you want to make sure that, you know, you're connected to a Wi-Fi signal. If your, you know, console is, you know, hardwired in, it may be best to temporarily make sure your Xbox is on a Wi-Fi signal, so then you can go ahead and connect it to your device better. So once that's done and once that's out of the way, you want to go ahead and go into your Xbox app and you'll see at the top there's like a little Xbox logo with like a signal emitting from it. Basically you want to click that and it's going to allow you to go ahead and connect to your Xbox. So you want to kind of configure it to your specific settings. It may take a couple of seconds and a couple of tries. It did for me but basically you just want to go ahead and try your best at connecting your specific phone to your Xbox and the on-screen settings will go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. So once that's out of the way and once that's good all you have to do now is go ahead and click on your Xbox on the bottom half of the display. So whichever Xbox you're using, you want to go and click on it and you will see that the console will pretty much go ahead and stream over to your iPhone or your Android or whatever. And this is exactly where you want to be. And this is really, really good. So all you have to do now is pretty much connect a set of Bluetooth headphones to your specific iPhone or Android device. So I, in this case, I'm using the Sony WX whatever 1000 headphones. I've done this with AirPods. I've done this with AirPods Maxes. It's the same exact process and it works every single time. So at this point, you don't even have to look at the phone anymore. You could just put it to the side. Like I said, if you have a spare phone or a tablet you can just put these things to the side and you can just wirelessly listen to whatever you're seeing on the screen to your headphones and i don't know if like you know the mic will actually work from your headphones to it as well i haven't tested it yet but that's pretty much the process. I mean, this is a very easy way to do it. Again, it's not perfect, but everything will basically streamed over whatever you hear from the Xbox, you know, realistic from the TV. It'll go ahead and be streamed over to your phone and you can listen to it from there. So that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section.
description below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.